What's going on guys? Welcome to a special edition of the Jiu Jitsu Journal. Today we're going to talk about weight cutting. I'm going to explain to you how I cut up to 15 pounds in a week for Jiu Jitsu tournaments or MMA fights. Okay, so before we get into how we do the weight cutting, I just need to tell you guys that weight cutting is not healthy, it's not good for you, um, and frankly it isn't safe to do. And if you're going to cut weight, I would do it under the supervision of a medical professional. This video is strictly for educational purposes. I'm just going to explain to you how I cut weight from my competitions and fights. The first thing that I need to do in a weight cut is get lean. I need to get my body fat down to at least 8, 9, 10% body fat. I, I want to be within preferably 10% of my target weight. So if I'm trying to make 155, I want to get to about 170 pounds. If I'm a little bit over, that can be okay, but when you get past that, you're really gonna start to affect your performance after the weight cut and during the fight, okay? So, once I get lean and I'm within striking distance of my weight cut, okay? Um, that's when the actual cut, the water cut, is gonna begin. Um, usually, so if I'm fighting on a Saturday, so for, so for this video, we'll just say, hypothetically, I'm fighting on a Saturday. Okay, that means weigh-ins are on Friday. So the Sunday before that, all right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start super hydrating. Okay, I'm gonna overload my body with water, and the purpose of that is to deplete myself of the minerals that hold water in my body. Right. So minerals like potassium and sodium they hold water in you. So you want to flush them out with tons of water so that you have less minerals in you to hold on to the water when you actually start to dehydrate, okay? <clears throat> so, on Sunday, I'm gonna drink two gallons of water, right? The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out carbs, well, I'm gonna cut down carbs to 50 grams a day, right? Car every one gram of carb holds on to one to four grams of water in your body, okay? So my carbs go down to 50 grams. I can eat as much fat and protein as I want um, to an extent. As much fat and protein as you can get within four meals in the day. Okay, Th This is going to help you stay energized for your training um, so that you can actually get through your training during that week um, while, you're, while you're cutting weight. Uh, during this stage in the weight cut, my training is going to be lighter, but I do want to keep moving so that I continue to sweat and also I stay loose and I stay focused for my competition. Okay, so on Sunday I'm at two gallons of water and I'm drink and I'm eating 50 grams of carbs only. Okay, as much protein and fat as I want within three or four meals. Also, as a heads up, and during this day we're not eating any salt. Okay, there are certain things that have a natural amount of sodium in them. Like for example, if I eat a steak, um, beef just naturally has sodium in it. We all have sodium in our body, so like when an animal is turned into a steak, it's got sodium in it. That's such a small amount though, it's not really gonna affect you. Um, you just don't wanna add salt to anything that you cook, okay? Um, you also wanna obviously avoid like really salty foods, like you know, you're not eating potato chips, you're not eating pickles, things like that. Um, just the sodium that's gonna be naturally in the, the meats and the vegetables that you're eating, okay? I also wanna get as many vegetables in as I can uh, leafy green vegetables, okay, because I want to keep my micronutrients up while my macronutrients are going down. Macronutrients are things like uh, pro it's protein, fat, and carbs. I want to keep my micronutrients up because that's, gonna keep, that's what's going to keep my immune system going while I'm going through this weight cut. I've had uh, bad weight cuts before where my micronutrients and my immune system was down so low that I broke out with shingles, I've gotten sick during weight cuts, things like that. Um, you want to keep yourself healthy during this time, all right? So the next day, it's Monday before the fight, okay, or before the competition. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with water, okay? I'm at two gallons of water. I'm at 50 grams of carbs maximum in that day, as much leafy greens as I can, and as much fat and protein as I can get within three or four meals. All right, so that day is basically gonna look about the same. And then again, today, remember, we're not eating any salt. You're basically gonna say goodbye to salt until after the weigh-in, okay? Not adding salt to any of our food, just what's naturally in the meats and vegetables that we um, that we're eating. Okay. Okay. So it's Tuesday now, and we're gonna begin to start backing off water. Okay. We super hydrated the body, we flushed it of the minerals, so now we're gonna start backing out, and I'm gonna really start to get 
dehydrated, okay? So Tuesday, I'm only gonna drink one gallon of water. The food and the diet is gonna look about the same, okay? I'm gonna, 50 grams of carbs maximum in that day, as much protein and fat as I can get within three or four meals. Um, a side note too, I do, you know, I do have to train through this week, so, you know, I say three or four meals, but sometimes if I'm feeling very depleted, very low energy, I might have some, uh, something like almonds or something that's really fatty, that's gonna give me some energy. So, I'm eating 50 grams of carbs max, as much protein and fat as I can get within three or four meals, unless I need a little bit extra. No salt um, that, I'm, that I'm putting on any of my foods, no high salty foods, anything like that, just the natural sodium in the meats and vegetables. Um, and then again, one, one gallon of water, all right? And then I'm gonna, this is when I'm gonna really start seeing the weight come off, all right? The next day is when the weight cut tends to start to get pretty uncomfortable, all right? So Wednesday, so we're, so we're two days for the weigh-in. I'm only gonna drink a half a gallon of water. And this is a tough part because, because I've super hydrated, my body's really low on minerals, it's really craving water at this point. And while half a gallon seems like a comfortable amount of water to drink, I'm so dried out at this point that uh, you know I really start to crave more, but it's just kind of part of the process, okay? So half a gallon on that day, food looks the same, okay? 50 grams of, uh, 50 grams of carbs, as much protein and fat as I can get within a few meals, uh, and no salt, right? Um, and I'm drinking a half a gallon again. Thursday, where things start to get really uncomfortable. I'm only gonna drink a quarter of a gallon, okay? So that's two water bottles throughout the day. And usually what I'll do is I will just carry two water bottles with me, and then in the morning I drink a half, two times throughout the day I drink a half, and then I drink a half of that bottle before I go to bed. It's pretty uncomfortable, uh, but at this point the weight's really starting to come off, okay? So, the diet, again, looks the same, 50 grams of Sorry, 50 grams of carbs, uh, no salt, um, as much protein and fat as I can get within three or four meals, okay? Um, and then again, a quarter gallon of water. Um, usually, I would say at this point, I've lost probably 10 pounds, okay? Um, throughout this whole process, it starts off with usually about three pounds coming off each day. So at this point, I'm getting pretty close. Okay, so the next day, okay? The weigh-ins are on Friday, and now it's Friday morning, all right? So this is where things start to get really uncomfortable. And what I have to do is I time out a 24-hour period. So say I'm weighing in Friday at 5 p.m. When I finish all of my eating and drinking on Thursday, I need to finish that 5 p.m. Thursday because I need to go through a 24-hour fast, okay? So 5 p.m. Thursday is when I finish all my drinking and my eating and I'm done. So throughout the night, I eat or drink nothing and then that next day I wake up and that's when I'm gonna start to cut off whatever last few pounds I have, probably in the sauna or I, I prefer the hot bath, okay? So if I wake up Friday morning, I'm usually, let's say, maybe only three, four pounds over, over, my, uh, over my target weight. Okay, I'm fasting completely. What, what I will do to give myself some energy is I'll get um, like certain energy bars. What I recommend is a brand called Balance Bar, um, but there are lots of different ones out there. The reason I use Balance Bars is because they're calorie dense, but they don't weigh anything because they're very dry, which kind of makes them not taste that great. But because they're dry, they don't weigh anything. In my, <coughs> excuse me, they don't weigh anything in my stomach. So I'll get two, maybe three of those Balance Bars, or just a couple hundred calories a piece just to kind of get me going through the day. So in this video, we're not really gonna cover how to get lean, how to get your body fat down. We're just gonna cover the water cut portion of your weight cut. Um, but we can get into a video on how to diet and how to lose uh, body fat at, at a later video. So now that I'm fasting, um, I gotta get those last few pounds off, which are generally the hardest few pounds to get off. Um, and the way, you could do it with a, a just going into a sauna with a sauna suit or something like that, but the way that I prefer to do it is uh, with a hot bath. And what I'm gonna do is basically just fill, um, get a bathtub that's large enough to, to sub, like submerge most of my body, and I'm gonna fill it with water as hot as I can bear it. You might be tempted to go less hot, but trust me, you're gonna just have to spend more time in there, and it's just better to go real hot, get it over with in one or two sessions in the bath, okay? Once I have the water hot enough, what I do is I get uh, a bottle of rubbing alcohol. I usually will buy several because I'll have to refill the bath because the water cools down, right? So I'll get a couple bottles 
of, uh, of rubbing alcohol and then a big bag of Epsom salt. And both of these things are going to serve the purpose of pulling moisture out of my skin. You can do it without, but it will help go faster because what happens is when you're sitting in a bath, a lot of times you're sweating, but you're also absorbing some of that water that you're sitting in. So putting the alcohol and the Epsom salt in there um, helps pull water out instead of absorb it in, right? So uh, I'll put basically a, a whole a whole bottle of rubbing alcohol in there and then two cups, maybe three cups of, uh, of the Epsom salt. Um, my first session, I want to get in there and try to stay in there for 20 minutes. It's pretty tough, your heart's pounding, it's hard to breathe. But you can stick it out for 20 minutes, you'll usually pull two, if you're lucky, I'll get three pounds uh, out of that first session. Then I'll hit one more, um, and as I'm getting depleted it becomes harder, so usually what I'll do is uh, the, the second session is like 15 minutes, and if I need a third or fourth, it's 10, then five. Generally after two, I'm done, I'm on weight, I'm gonna go weigh in, and then we're gonna, and then I'm gonna start the most important part of the weight cut, okay? Um, this is probably the simplest part, but it is the most important, because if you cut, or if I cut this type of weight, um, and I go compete in Jiu Jitsu, my performance is gonna be very low, my muscles are gonna cramp, my endurance and cardio is gonna suck, um, and that's just Jiu Jitsu. If I go into MMA and I'm getting punched while I'm dehydrated, it's gonna have serious negative effects um, and uh, seriously increase the amount of brain trauma that I'm gonna take, okay, because that fluid is, is the water in your, in your brain is what provides it with cushion, okay? So I need to be fully hydrated before I go and compete. <clears throat> and the way I'm gonna do that is, as soon as I step off the scale, um, I have a coach ready with my Pedialyte, okay? You can do off-brand or whatever, but basically Pedialyte is just full of minerals, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna replenish everything that I, that I deplenish from my body, okay? So, um, I do pee light first because if I just drink water and I have no minerals to hold it, it doesn't really matter, right? It's gonna it's gonna flow through it. Water has some minerals, which is good, but pee light has extra. Okay, so I'm gonna start with pee light, and what's very important is I'm not gonna chug this. Um, for one, uh, there is a little bit of um, sugar in these in these energy drinks. And if you chug sugar on an empty stomach, it's really gonna kind of cut. It'll it'll give you some problems. Okay, so I'm gonna just drink one sip at a time. Generally, the rule of thumb is I'll take as many sips as fast as I want, but as long as I'm taking just one little tiny sip, it's it'll slow me down enough to where I can absorb it. You can only absorb about one liter of water every hour, okay? So um, whatever water you're just chugging is not really doing you any good, okay? So I'm gonna start with the Pedialyte and I'm just gonna sip through that. When I get done with that, I'll go on to water. I prefer to use um, alkaline water me personally, I feel that it takes me less alkaline water to become fully hydrated um, as compared to it's like standard, like say Arrowhead water or something like that. Um, there's not a whole lot of scientific uh, evidence behind that, but it's just my experience. Um, so you can try that or you can try regular water, play with both, see what works best for you. Okay, so I'm gonna start drinking water. Um, I'll also mix in some coconut water in there just to kind of mix things up because you get a little bit tired of the water. Um, and again, I'm just taking sip by sip, okay? Um, usually, it's gonna take me about two gallons to get fully rehydrated. Don't stop drinking when you stop feeling thirsty, okay? A th thirst is not a good measurement of how hydrated your body and more importantly, your brain is. I don't stop drinking when I, when I stop feeling thirsty, okay? Thirst is not a good measurement of how well hydrated your body, and more importantly, your brain is. Um, I will keep drinking until until my pee is clear. That's just kind of the measurement that I use, and that's a good indication that you're, you're fully hydrated. Even at that point, I'm gonna still drink water to stay hydrated, but I'm not gonna, I, I can just drink water as needed at that point. Um, but usually, it's gonna take me consistently drinking, you know, sip by sip until maybe a few hours before the fight itself uh, until I get that result, okay? And then while I'm drinking that water, again, I need to replenish the minerals and the carbs that I, I lost during this week of, of, um, of 
deplenish, depleting my body of, of um, all these minerals and nutrients, okay? And the way I'm gonna do that is just by uh, certain foods that I'm gonna eat. Basically, I'm gonna do the opposite of what I did this past week, okay? I wanna get as much salt as I can take in. I wanna get as much potassium as I can take in, and I wanna get as much carbs as I can take in. Okay, I want them to be good quality ingredients so that my mind feels nice and clear during the competition. Um, and that it, you know, it provides me with good mental and physical energy, okay? So uh, I'm not gonna just put like crappy white table salt on, on a bunch of french fries or something like that. What I'm gonna do is, um, a favorite of mine is organic kettle cooked um, chips, probably sweet potato chips is the best option. Um, and then, uh, and you get you can get certain brands that are salted with like Himalayan pink salt or mineral salt, something natural like that. Um, and then the, the chips themselves are gonna give you good good carbohydrates and then also the oils in it. Uh, if you get an organic uh, product, is usually made with like sunflower oil or something more healthy. So things like that, I'll, I'll, I'll eat um, granola, I'll eat organic uh, whole grain bagels. If you're a person that feels good eating wheat products, I know some people can't eat wheat products, it, it kind of drains their energy, but for me it's fine. Um, and then, uh, and, and also the key thing is here is I'm not gonna stuff my body because my stomach is, is, is severely shrunken. So the rule of thumb that I use is after the weigh-in, every 30 minutes, I'm gonna have a small amount of food, okay? A small handful of chips, a small handful of granola, a half of a whole grain bagel. Um, I really want to go and just eat a huge meal, but for one, I, I couldn't really eat that much to begin with. If I go and try it, it's gonna hurt. My stomach is really shrunken, um, but also again, you just can't absorb uh, that that much or that many nutrients at one time. You have to slowly space it out so your body can get good use out of all these things. I'm gonna eat foods that are rich in um, that are rich in sodium, that are rich in carbohydrates, also that are rich in potassium too. So um, that's kind of where the coconut water comes in, that's high in potassium. Again, obviously uh, bananas is, is a pretty standard go-to. You can also eat coconut, like actual coconuts, if that's what you like and if you want to spend a lot of money, but bananas are, bananas are probably the cheapest way to go, okay? So every 30 minutes, I'm having a small snack to kind of begin to restart my metabolism because it's been at a dead stop. I'm restarting that metabolism and I'm also expanding my stomach a little bit. Um, a few hours later, when I feel that I'm, I'm ready, I'm gonna go and have a nice, good meal, okay? I wanna keep it clean. Again, this is the energy that I'm using tomorrow in the, in the, in the competition. So I wanna keep it clean so that I feel good the next day. Uh, a go-to for me is sushi with brown rice. I like it a lot because the, sodium, the soy sauce is super high in sodium. Uh, brown rice is obviously really high in carbohydrates. Uh, the fish has great uh, omegas in it, which is good for your brain health and great energy. Um, and then also fat is, good, is a good source of energy as well. Okay, so I, I'm gonna have that be a big meal. And I'm, again, I'm, I'm drinking water that whole time. The next morning, I'm gonna have another good breakfast, a good amount of carbs, but good quality ingredients, okay? And I'm still drinking water, okay? And then again, I'm going to, throughout this day, be eating small snacks very often. Maybe an hour, every hour, 30 minutes or an hour, I'm gonna have a small snack all day um, up until a certain point, okay? I'm a person who can compete and, and put out hard effort with a full stomach, okay? Some people might need to stop early so that they can, they can uh, digest their food a little better before they compete. For me, it doesn't bother me, okay? So I, I, I'll eat until I'm locked in the back. And I might, even, I might even continue eating when I'm in the back ready to go and compete a couple hours before. That's just me. Um, some people might not, see, not might need to stop earlier. You have to, you have to play with that. Um, try some workouts. People need to try workouts full. Try it on empty stomach. See what, see what feels better. Okay. Don't experiment in the competition. Figure that out first. Okay. Um, and then once I'm in the back, you know, I might have a few more sips. I might have a few more uh, snacks. But I'm full. I'm feeling good. I'm fully hydrated. I'm still peeing clear. Um, and uh, I'm ready to go and compete. If you like this video, guys hit that like button. Also comment below and let us know if there's any other subjects that you'd like some uh, advice or tips for training and, and competition performance. Um, also comment below and let us know if you have any weight cutting tips or secrets that, that you wanna share with us. Hit the subscribe button to see lots of jujitsu and grappling technique videos coming out in the future. We also have the podcast that comes out once a week. 
Uh, thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.